Well, good evening. What a great day this has been and 20 years in the making. First of all, I want to uh, acknowledge uh, my great friend uh, who's the president of Carnegie Mellon, uh, President Suress. It's just great that you are taking on the leadership of this important university and to Pat Gallagher, who I work with uh, as he was the head of uh, NIS, uh, who's now returned to Pittsburgh as the chancellor of the Univers University of Pittsburgh. It's an honor to be able to participate in the 20th anniversary of the Center for Neurocognition, uh, the basis for neurocognition. I'm sorry I cannot be with you in person, uh, but uh, I am deeply appreciative of uh, Dr. Strick and all of the great work that has been done uh, over these many years. And I got a chance to visit uh, just a little while ago, uh, both at Pitt and at Carnegie Mellon. I got a high five and a handshake uh, from Jan, who uh, embodies all of the uh, great work and that has been done over uh, these many years. And I just want to say, I know you've heard from some of the greatest neuroscientists uh, in the world today, and you're going to hear uh, in the keynote from, uh, from another that uh, as a policymaker, and I'm not a scientist, I'm a political leader, uh, I have uh, been working to put neuroscience at the very forefront of our scientific enterprise in our country. I'm convinced that we can make real progress, and, and I'm convinced because of the work that you've done uh, that that progress is going to be made more rapidly uh, to the degree that the federal government continues to provide real support and enhances that support for the work of great institutions. And I think that the partnership between uh, Carnegie Mellon and Pitt is another example of true leadership because that's what we need. We need collaborative efforts. We need a long-term commitment uh, to finding uh, real solutions and replacing uh, ignorance with knowledge. And the human brain uh, deserves the entirety of our focus, but I believe it is, it is within our ability uh, to come to grips with the hundreds of brain diseases and disorders, to understand how the brain works, to find real cures and treatment. And uh, we know it's true because you've shown it to be true. And so we wish you a great uh, evening and a dinner. And I look forward to an opportunity to be with each and every one of you as we go forward in this great effort uh, to do what uh, President uh, Dr. Allen the Listener of uh, AAAS says, seize the neuroscience moment. I'm a partner with you as we go forward in this effort. In our country, in fact, throughout the world, uh, there are people who are betting that your success will improve the life chances of the tens of millions of people in our own country and a billion worldwide who suffer from brain illnesses and diseases. So thank you, and let's also understand that there's benefit, not just on the disease side, but also in understanding cognition and cognition science in that your work enables us in that regard, understanding how a healthy brain can even function and function at a higher level. Thank you very much and good evening.